Oh, the poor Lincoln MKX. It debuted with a prow so closely approximating an electric shaver that Remington magnate Victor Keehan might have wanted to buy the Lincoln Motor Company. Then, to fit in with the rest of Lincoln's questionable design direction, the gussied-up Ford Edge inherited first the baleen nostrils that so befouled other vehicles in the lineup, followed by the goofy, misguided mustache that was supposed to make Lincoln's aesthetic finally palatable to serious luxury intenders. At last, perhaps tired of throwing dismal design at a nameplate that has known nothing else, the division has canned the MKX badge, tacked on a decent, if not entirely original, front clip, and renamed the crossover Nautilus. The new nose of the Nautilus obviously follows the template set by the Lincoln Continental, and the extent to which you enjoy that big sedan's Jaguar, Bentley homage will probably dictate your take on the fresh and SUV. Derivative or not. The new face integrates pretty well with the rest of the styling, which is carried over from the MKX. Inside, however, the Nautilus doesn't quite follow the bold direction presented by the Continental and the new Navigator. The available Ultra Comfort seats offer 22 various adjustments as well as lumbar massage. You can also take your pick of 13 or 19 speaker Revel audio systems. A hidden inductive charging pad means never having to futz with USB cables to charge your phone, and the center stack houses Ford's corporate Sync 3 infotainment system equipped with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality. The driver takes stock of the goings-on via a configurable 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, and the rear passenger windows now feature acoustic side glass for reduced wind noise intrusion. The Nautilus will offer two direct-injected and turbocharged engines, a 2.0-liter four-cylinder good for 245 horsepower and a 2.7-liter V6 offering 335 ponies and 380 pounds to foot of torque. Both power plants feature automatic stop, start, and no matter which engine you pick, you'll find it backed up by an 8-speed automatic transmission. The transmission, naturally, is controlled by Lincoln's vertical array of push buttons, an arrangement that might have drivers conjuring up visions of commanding the Red October. While Lincoln's active safety technology doesn't include Marco Ramius' great active sonar, it does feature both radar and cameras to help the driver center the vehicle in its lane. The system will even go further than that, helping a weak-armed, slow-witted individual steer around an obstacle. According to Lincoln, if the risk is high and there is insufficient space to avoid a collision by braking, the system helps the driver steer around the vehicle. It won't initiate an emergency evasive maneuver on its own, but if you begin to turn the wheel, the Nautilus will help you do it. Beyond its steering-oriented safety tech, the new Lincoln offers automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot warning, active parking assist, lane departure warning and an auto-hold feature, which means you don't have to keep a foot on the brake pedal when stopped.